Hey, welcome to KG's Garage for another episode of Working on the Odyssey. Uh, today, it's not going to be that much. Um, really, I just have to change the oil, and then I bought some O2 sensors uh, the, that are the second O2 sensors, downstream O2 sensors that I want to replace. Um, it's still giving some codes. It's pointing to the O2 sensors, and um, the car's got like 100 and I think 60 something thousand miles on it and I bought the two sensors I figured let's do that and the other thing is it's making a clunking noise when you turn and when you go over bumps so we did front struts two years ago I think on this thing at the time they didn't have the whole strut assembly so I had to take the struts apart um, use the same old spring and I replaced the strut and the top bushing. I don't know. Maybe the, I, I think it's the top bushing, the top, top bushing or bearing on top. I think that's gone bad. Uh, I'm going to put it up in the air and see if I've noticed anything else that it might be. But I, it kind of sounds like it. It's like a a springing, ba clicking, bang, banging noise. So anyway, um, I'm going to look at that. I did order a new whole strut assemblies because they're they're in stock now and that'll be another video i'm just gonna replace the whole thing but i'm pretty sure that's what it is if it's not i i don't know i'll return those spring those things i don't know anyway uh so let me show you the o2 sensors they're two different part numbers hopefully these are the right ones 24089 24793 N NTK, they should have all, yeah, it does. It's got the connector on it and everything, so this should just be unbolt and put it in there. So I don't know which one goes where. Um, pay, you pay a little bit more for getting all of the connectors on there, but it's a lot easier. It takes a lot, it's a lot quicker to do it. You un um, unbolt the other one, put the new one in, done. So I'm gonna do that as it is if they can come out. It's Florida truck, it's been in Florida the whole time. There's no rust under it, so it'll probably be fine. Anyway, let me get this thing up in the air and get to work on it. Oh, also changing the oil. Changing the oil, I know with two sensors. Changing oil, not a big deal, but we're doing this friend of maintenance. It's, I don't know when the last time we did the oil. It's been a while. Anyway, let me get to work. <laughs> This isn't good. See that? It's hydraulic fluid. And you hear that noise? That's hydraulic fluid coming out, I'm sure. <sighs> Want to know what kind of maintenance I've done on this lift? Nothing really. can't see where it's coming from. I don't have my glasses on. Great. So I don't know if it's going to be able to lift this thing up. I don't know if the line is busted or what. Okay. So look at this oil, hydraulic oil, dripping. We're going to go up on the ladder. So there's a hose that runs, hydraulic hose that runs all the way up from the bottom. <laughs> Dripping here. Oh man, oh man. It's sprayed on the ceiling. But if you look inside, I touch this, I'm almost positive this is where it's leaking from. That hose right there. It's about in the right area. I just touched it and the rubber's all deteriorating. And I think, yeah, it looks like, if you can tell, whatever that stain, whatever that braiding is, is rusted. This whole tray is full of, 
full of oil in it. Um, I went down to the other side, the hoses over there, they were also dry rotted. I mean, that's the rubber outside, but that's still protected. So I need to um, get new ho hoses, as it looks like. And it looks like I did, for some reason I didn't put it through this loop here. So that was kind of weird. The rest of the hose is fine. It's not. It's just on top here. Probably it's getting cooked by the. It's probably just getting cooked by the sun and the heat. I mean, it's real hot up there. So, looks like there's not going to be a lift for a while. That's going to stink. And I got to find out where to get these hoses. I don't even know how long they are. I'm just going to look up the the brand uh, Atlas and see what. What hoses I needed. And I guess I'll just replace them all. There's one that comes from here. It comes from here all the way up. Is it two lines that go up? No, it's one line. Oh, there's the other line. There's the two other line. So the two lines. Yeah. And this one goes. Oh, man. The piston is inside here. So I don't remember how, man, it's going to take me back. I don't remember how to get to that thing. The connector is on the side or something. I can't remember. Oh, oh whatever I got to do to get the lift back up. So I'm going to do an oil change on the ground. I was afraid it was lifting. I was afraid of lifting the, the car up there. And once I had the car up to get it and then put it down on the on the brakes on the locks to get it back off the locks you have to go up again and I was afraid that maybe it wouldn't go up again and that would be a problem so if it wouldn't go out the, the car would be stuck up there I don't even know how I would get it off and it's just spraying out I mean it's I didn't even notice before but yeah sprayed right onto the ceiling so it's good it was spraying pretty good there's probably a nice little hole in there anyway i'm going to change the oil on the, on the ground it's not gonna be fun i don't think i'm gonna do the o2 sensors because i'm not gonna be able to get to the o2 sensors i mean i can i don't feel like laying on the ground and lifting the whole thing up anyway let's get the oil done and i'll see you in a little bit let me show you why you want to buy the more expensive OEM direct replacement. So this is the one in the front here. Right here in the bottom. It's O2 sensor. The other one is somewhere over there. Anyway, I'm working on this one here. I crawled on here. I'm like, oh, I can do this. Um, the other one, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that one. It's all the way back there. Anyway, um, let me show you why you want to get the OEM kind. So here's the original one, and you have these clips. These are there's all bracket, little brackets all over the engine where this thing clipped into. The new one here has new clips on it. You won't get this on a cheap replacement. I don't remember how much these these were. Probably almost hundred dollars. But you have the clips in the same spot. Oh, actually, is this one an extra clip? That one has one extra clip. That one's in the same spot. That one's in the same spot. That one is not in the same. Well, it might have moved. It moved a little bit. This one. So this one's not going to be used, I don't think. Unless it, it broke. Oh, this, this wire looks longer. Let's see. This is an extra one right here, I think. I don't know why. Anyway, probably a different version. Different car, whatever. But you can see these things pretty much line up. Off a little bit. Whatever, it's fine. But this is why you want to buy the better one. It has the clips. Otherwise, the wire will just lay around and hit other stuff. Also, the connector, I broke the connector because I couldn't figure out how to get the stupid thing off. It actually comes off on the top here, right here. I was prying on this piece, and it would not come off. I'm like, what the heck? Why won't it come off? This here releases off the bracket. Let me show you. There's a bracket right here. There's a bracket right here and there's a little, little tab and this goes down like this. 
no, sorry, goes up like this, and it hits a tab. This releases it off that tab. You have here, so where's the connector? The connector is right here. All you have to do is press down on this piece right here where my, where my thumb is, press down there, and then pull it, and it will disconnect. So you you want you don't want you do want to take this off because you want to get it off the tab, but to release it, it's like so it, it would be like in here like this, and you just want to press down there and then pull it out. Anyway, that's what you do. I'm gonna put this. I'm keeping the protective on here. It's got some anti-seize on there, and it's got plastic protective color on this cover. I'm just gonna put this down in there. Um, let me hold on. Before I move on, the other. Remember, I didn't know which one was which. Here's the other O2 sensor, and you can tell also it has a yellow wrapping around it. And that one that's back there in the back of the engine also has a yellow. So that's another hint where it goes. But you can see this one's not even the right. It's not even the right length. So anyway, but the, you see also it has the tabs to um to snap it back into the brackets. Anyway, so what I was gonna do is I'm gonna drop this down in here. I will get it on. All right, well, I have to go down there and get it. I'll get that on. Where is it? See, like, for example, here's one of the tabs right here with little brackets. It's got the square hole in it where the um, plastic tabs go in. All right, here it is. Of course, it's stuck up there now. <laughs> this has to come over. That's stuck. Anyway, let me mess with this a little while. Um, to get this out, I just used the open end on it, <clears throat> hammered it, and got it off. Uh, I tried using this. It, it, way, the way this, the transmission is, it's right in the way. If I had this on here, there's no way. I guess I could have. It doesn't make a difference. <laughs> I could have put the um, socket on here. I think if I tried this with the open end and it didn't work, I probably could have done this, put this on here, maybe when I tighten it, and then put a socket on here and then turn this whole thing so that I can get it closed in on here. <clears throat> anyway, I don't know what size. It's bigger than a 7 8 Anyway, um, let's, uh, let me figure out what's stuck on, get this in there, I'll be right back. And like I said, I'm not doing the other one. Here, you can see the other. You can see the other one is yellow. I'm not going back there and doing it. And anyway, we're changing the oil. Just still letting it drain. I got a little mess, but I'll, I'll get there. All right. I'm going to change this 102 sensor. That's it. Okay. So there, there wasn't a mistake. There was another clip that was supposed to go right there. It was still in the um, in the bracket inside the car. So I got it out. It, what happened was it broke the zip. It's basically a zip tie. Zip tie broke and the wire just came out. So anyway, that's it. New one's in. Looks like uh, it goes right into place, right where the other one was. Doesn't even look like I took it out. I put it there. There's a new one right there. It's out of the way of everything. Okay, well that, that's it. The only other thing I have to do is um. It's an oil change. God. AC's broken the shop, too. <laughs> this is not a good day. Um, I need to put the oil filter back on, put a new oil filter, and fill with oil, and I'm done for today on this thing. Uh, I have to order some parts. I looked underneath. I think I'm going to do lower control arms, the bushings in the back. On one of them's kind of shot. I'm going to see how much this costs. It needs a new belt. I don't know what's happening with the belt, but it's... Uh, it's just shedding all over the place. I don't know if you can see little black dots everywhere. It's just like deteriorating. I don't know what the heck happened. I think maybe this is the same belt that's been on for a little while. And when there was a big oil leak, I think maybe the oil got in there. 
penetrated. And I'm just speculating. I have no idea. And it's and it like it messed with the rubber, broke down the rubber a little bit, and now it's just flicking out. So I need to replace that. That's not a big deal. It's just my hands will look like this again. Like it's it's hard to put. It's easy to take it off. It's hard to put one back on. It's because you got to reach down in there. Anyway. Okay. Well, I'm gonna wrap this one up. Thanks a lot for watching. I don't know. Maybe you learned how to about the uh, O2 sensors. Hopefully, that will help you out in the future. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll talk to you later. See you next video. Bye.